How's it going this week, everybody? This week I'm gonna be having a woman on named Chloe, and she had some very interesting experiences throughout her entire life. And one of her encounters actually sounds like the Dog Man, and I don't think I've actually ever covered the Dog Man on the show before, so I'm pretty excited for you guys to hear this one. Also, just want to do a quick shout out to all the members who have been signing up. You guys really helped keep things going around here. If you are interested in the membership, you can head over to challengetheunknown.com and get early access to new episodes before they come out. And one last thing before we get started tonight, everybody, is this episode is sponsored by Smoky Mountain Squatch Coffee Company. Nathan sent me over the Cowboy Blend to try, and honestly, I love it. I'm a big coffee drinker. That's no secret to all of you. And just for my audience, there's a 10% off discount code if you use CTU at checkout. There's a link in the description if you'd like to order some. Thanks for listening. Yeah, um, it's kind of a short story, but um, basically what happened is I I was driving home from getting food with one of my friends, and um, it was about 11 o'clock at night, and we were driving on a country-ish kind of road. Um, not, not country enough that you would expect to see, like, wildlife, any kind of thing like that, but... Um, I, it was fairly dark and I just had this thought of like, Hey, you should kind of look over here to the left here. Like something was going to be there. And sure enough, I look and something darts out into the road and it's, it's black and it's, it's shadowy. It's not completely like formed. It's, it's like a shadow and it, I don't really see eyes or anything like that. It just looks as if you, you took a human and just like, bent its legs and arms the opposite direction and it was running so it had like really knobby shoulders and like hips and but it was like running like a dog and so of course like I gasped and I braked because I was going to hit this thing and then you know the minute I do that it just disappears into thin air and my friend didn't see it it was just me and (laughs) <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think like, holy crap, am I crazy? Um, cause I used to see things kind of like that as a kid, but never to that, to that magnitude and never outside, you know, um, that, that's pretty much all that happened. And, and ever since then, I, I haven't really seen anything or experienced. And that was only like a couple weeks ago. You know, that's a really interesting story. The way that you described its arms and legs bending the wrong way is very interesting to me. You know, I, I have a lot of people on my show in, in regards to like, you know, skinwalkers and crawlers and such like that. I had a I had a guy on a long time ago who said that the skinwalker that he saw, the arms bended both ways, which is very interesting to me, you know, because now that's sharing similarities with your story. What do you uh what do you think this thing was? You said it was like a black kind of figure. Yeah, that's, you know, I went on Reddit to try to find some answers and I didn't really get anywhere. Um, I, I've heard like terms of like shadow creatures, but I know like those tend to have like red eyes and like the things, you know, I used to see as a kid, you know, were kind of, they didn't have a form, you know what I mean? They just were like blobs. So I truly have no idea. Um, I want to say like, it, it didn't even have like any kind of a feeling that it was there. It had no presence. It was just there and gone. So <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I, I would love to know if anyone else has ever seen something like that. But I guarantee you one of my viewers will write in, you know, it happens every time we air something new, somebody writes in saying they've seen something very similar, you know, it's so weird to me. You know, I'm just, I'm just trying to kind of put those pieces together. It's weird. It's really weird. And when you talk about shadow people in general, what I get usually is that they're humanoid in appearance. That you know, they stand upright and they they walk around like people. So yeah, you know, hearing about something running on four legs and its arms bending in the wrong direction. And how how did it move? Why don't you describe its movements a little bit more detail? Because this was only for a split second, you said. But what what details could you see? 
yeah, it, because it was like, I'm trying to, because it's, it was like a dog and the way it moved, like a wolf almost, the grace in which a wolf moves. And that's what was so weird about it is like, okay, if your arms are really bent the opposite way, you can't move, you know what I mean? But it was moving so quickly, it, it didn't even make sense for a dog to be moving that quickly, you know what I mean? And um, the legs and the arms were were longer than like a human's legs and arms should be. I didn't, it didn't make sense. I'm not even sure if it was touching the ground. Like that's how quickly it happened. Like it was just, I saw it, it was moving like it was running and it was just, you know, and the only thing I could really make out were like how knobby those joints were, you know, but just, just way too quick to, to be an animal or a human. It just didn't make any sense. Would you say it was taller than the hood of your car? Um, I have a very small car, but yeah, probably I, I would say it would probably, cause I was still pretty far away. Interesting. I, I was, I would say like, if you've seen a wolf in real life, it was probably about that size, maybe a little taller. Um, but it's just human. So like for a human's arms to be that long, doesn't make much sense. Could you see through it? No, that's what was weird about it. Like, cause most of the time when I see things, they're, they're shadowy. This was very dark, but then again, it was dark outside. Did your car lights ever hit it? No, no, you didn't get that close. You know what? The more you talk about this thing, the more it makes me kind of lean towards that weird crawler skinwalker kind of thing, just because, you know, it almost sounds more physical than paranormal, just because, uh, what, I guess would you would you say it was paranormal or would you think it was something physical that ran across the road that night? I'm leaning towards paranormal just for the fact that like when I braked, that would have been the moment it would have ran across my lights and it I saw nothing. It like it literally dispersed like like completely just vanished before my eyes, like that type of thing. So like it never entered my headlights, but as it was about to enter my headlights, it just vanished into thin air. So that's what doesn't make any sense to me. It didn't jump. It didn't, it just, as soon as like I, like it appeared, I didn't see it running from any direction. It just appeared. It was moving and then it was gone. So <laughs> that's what makes no sense to me. Like I wasn't supposed to see it. Like, like almost it wasn't like in this dimension, you know what I mean? And I just saw it for a split second and then it was, it was gone. It It's really strange. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. It's, it's a bizarre story. You know, I've never really heard of anything like this, but you know, I believe what you're telling me, and it's so creepy. Whenever I hear people talk it's about creepy. something that that that's humanoid running on all fours, that just kind of you know makes my skin crawl a little bit. It's it's unnatural to see something humanoid yeah. on all fours. Do you think that? Well, let me. I guess I'll ask you this instead. Tell me about the uh, the entities you used to see, or whatever they were when you were a child, and how old were you? Um, I would see things in the house I was growing up from about, I would say like 10 to about 17, um, kind of in there. And I just recently started kind of seeing things again in my apartment. Um, but it was kind of like those humanoid type figures out of the corner of your eye or little wisps here and there. Um, you would just kind of like feel a presence, feel like you were being watched. You'd see something and the minute you look, it would just kind of disappear and kind of black shadowy, just not as, as, um, they're more, um, translucent. Whereas like what I saw that night was very physical. It seemed even from that distance, but, um, I think most of the time humanoid, there was one time, um, I saw something, I saw a cat. I thought it was a real cat and I thought it was weird because we didn't have a cat. And I was like, how did this cat get in the house? And so I called to it and it ran towards me. And then as soon as it was going to get to me, it vanished. Just actually, now I think about it, just, just like that other thing did just dis disappeared. So that, I think that was like one of the last times I ever saw something and the fact that I, you know, thought it was real, because most of the time when I, when I would see things as a kid, I'm like, I know this isn't real. Like, I know this is like, 
we, we were told that like ghosts weren't real growing up and things like that. So like, this isn't real. It's all in my head. But when I saw that cat, I was like, I knew that was a cat until it disappeared. And then I was just like thoroughly freaked out. Um, I think looking back now, I think there was definitely like a, a presence in the house. And like, I talked to everyone in my family about it and we had uh, matching nightmares, matching experiences. We just never talked about it because it was taboo. And we, we finally sat down and talked about it in the house as a family um, about this presence that we all felt growing up and the nightmares we had. And as we were talking about it, a picture flung off the wall. <laughs> and we just haven't talked about it really since. At least not in the house. <laughs> but. You know, it's starting to make me wonder because how, how you have this long history of this, it's, it's starting to make me wonder if you're hypersensitive to this kind of stuff. You know, I've... I've had like psychics and stuff on my show before and you know some people just really see this stuff like all the time and other people never see stuff you know and it makes me wonder yeah. why that is um that's what I, I was wondering too because I've talked to some people about it and they're like well maybe maybe someone something's trying to tell you something I'm like I don't know I don't know what I don't know why <laughs> but it's well, just I, scaring the living daylights out of me. <laughs> I guess. But, if, I guess if I were to speculate, you know, it it makes me wonder if some if what you saw that night was actually related to what you had been seeing all of these years. And whenever we talk about a lot of the darker stuff, we get into mimicry. You know, mm -hmm. I've I've had people on with very scary experiences. You know, one woman I had on a while ago things got so violent in the house that they were all sleeping in the living room together as a family and okay. you know just really dark stuff and whenever we talk about mimics and stuff it gets real scary the, the first mimic show that i ever did where i had a, a woman on that had a lot of very demonic stories you know and i don't use that word lightly you know i feel like that that word has become very uh commercialized and, and everyone wants to say yeah. everything's a demon now but you know, this girl had some really dark experiences and the first time I had her on, she, you know, cried while she was on air talking about it. And, you know, it makes me wonder, you know, because after I had, you know, did interviews with her, a bunch of weird stuff started happening here. Stuff was shutting down my cameras during interviews. And oh, wow. um, I saw a door slam in my face one night and, you know, eventually it went away you know, and, and yeah. moved out. But, you know, it, it makes me wonder when you're dealing with mimics, what, what these entities are. Cause I don't think they're human, whatever they are, in my opinion, you know, I, I could be wrong. Yeah. Who knows what they really are. But whenever something starts mimicking like children or, you know, having the appearance of something that it's not, and it has very malicious intent, that makes me very uncomfortable, you know? So, yeah. so who sure. knows what you saw that night? Maybe it was, maybe it was something that you had seen before and you're just not, Maybe you just didn't connect those pieces until now. Um, well, I, I was thinking about it because there there was a time when I was younger, and I actually just now thought about it as I was talking, but like, uh, we kind of lived in this kind of rural area, and every now and again, we would have a wolf or something, but very rarely. And um, my friend and I were outside, and I remember us looking off into the distance and we saw something kind of foraging. It was really dark and we didn't really think anything of it. It was so far away. And then it, you know, looked at us and we saw eye shine and we're like, Oh, okay. Maybe we should go in the house. Cause it, you know, it was about the size of a dog. And then it suddenly the eyes rose and kept rising to the fact that it, it was so big, you know, but it was obviously a dog. You know, and I always thought it was a wolf, you know, like a really, really big wolf. But like now that I think about it, like, holy crap, like what if it was the same thing? I just couldn't tell because it was darker than the other thing. Um, you know, I, don't what? Know. That... I think I have, have, you, have you heard of the dog man? I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds very, very similar. That's an interesting story. I wonder if that's what but you I saw. Can't even, yeah, because I, I honestly thought that was a dog, but I mean, maybe, maybe it's possible. I did see that was the same thing, but I can't, I can't confirm because I don't know. Because whatever I saw the other 
was very humanoid. And I don't remember that being like that, but it was so, so long ago. But that would be wild if it was. Be interesting as to why. I guess I'll just have to keep looking for it in the future. I don't want to see it again, but if I do, I guess I'll know. <laughs> but, yeah, like, these things are disturbing, you know, and when it comes to the dog man, I don't know a whole lot about it. It's hard for me to find people that have seen the dog man. Um, it's, it's such a weird topic because w- when it comes to Sasquatch, I can, I can very much believe in that. And I believe that that is a biological entity that is roaming around our North American forests. And I can say that I, I can, I can rationalize that. I can, I can say that there's, there's evidence and there's, you know, I, I can I can rationalize it. It fits into a box for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I can say that that's probably yeah. real. You know, but when it comes to the dog man, the sightings are so rare, and yeah, for it to be a biological entity, it, it's hard for me to to rationalize that. So it makes me wonder if there's something yeah. else going on with things like dog man. If it's something, you know, whatever your theory is on it, whether it's not a not just an animal, but some kind of like entity. So I don't know, maybe. It's so weird, man. Like your stories are so, so yeah. all over the place for, you know, the boxes yeah. that they're supposed to fit in. So it makes me wonder if they're connected or not. And maybe they're not. Maybe you're just hypersensitive and seeing stuff like a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, that that makes the most sense to me because, like, I if I try to make these things connect, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, I mean, everything kind of, you know, because I would see things at school, I'd see things at work, I'd see things at home, and then they just go away, and then suddenly you know, I'm seeing things at work again. I'm seeing things at home again. And maybe it's just, and the only, the only thing I can really think of is, you know, I was, I was living with uh, my ex fiance uh, for three years or whatever, and I didn't really see anything. And here I am alone again and I'm seeing things. So maybe it's just when I'm alone. I don't know. Uh, Cause when I was a kid growing up, I would see things when I'm alone. It was never when I was with anybody else. And now I'm living with other people and I haven't been seeing things. So, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I but really... Again, whatever. I saw that one night I was with my friend. So, I... That's... I don't know. <laughs> right. The closest pattern I can, I can come up with. Yeah, it's so weird. I, I guarantee you, once we finish up here, that someone's going to write in and, and say that they've seen something similar. It, it always happens, you know. The only thing... Right. The only, the only thing that I've never had anybody write in about is the pig man episode no one's written in about that uh because that was such a such a different episode i've never covered anything like that before and it was such a something that no one's really ever heard of before so that was a real special episode um but even when i cover the more niche stuff people always write in so i'm kind of holding out hope here that that someone hears your story chloe (laughs) and and (laughs) I i know what that is yeah i i'd love love to hear because i didn't get much uh answers on the internet or reddit 